الرحمن الرحيم My dear brothers and sisters Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh Today we'll talk a little bit about the character of our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Today we'll talk about a few moments that made our Prophet alayhi salatu salam cry My dear brothers and sisters there are a lot of people out there that think that by being harsh and mean is a way of being strong and manly but this is not the way of our Prophet Even though he was the strongest in establishing justice, his heart was very kind and soft. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala told us, and He said, "Those people whose heart are uh, very tough, very strong, those are furthest from the mercy of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala." And He said, "Thumma qasad qulubukum min ba'di dhalik, fahiya kal hijara." Then your hearts became as hard as rock or even harder. Subhanallah. My dear brothers and sisters, one of the moments that made the Prophet ﷺ cry, even though he was a leader, even though he was a parent, even though he was a prophet, the best creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, one of the moments that made him cry is when he was listening to the Quran, to the Quran that was revealed to him directly. Sometimes our Prophet ﷺ wanted to listen to the Holy Quran recited by other people. One day he said Abdullah ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu to recite some passages of the Holy Quran in front of him. Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, our Prophet ﷺ said about him, من أراد أن يأخذ هذا القرآن رطبا كما نزل فليأخذه من هذا الفتى Whoever wants to learn the Quran as it was revealed to me let him take from this young boy and that was Abdullah ibn Mas'ud Abdullah ibn Mas'ud started to recite the Holy Quran until he recited this verse فَكَيْفَ إِذَا جِئْنَا مِنْ كُلِّ أُمَّةٍ بِشَهِيدٍ وَجِئْنَا بِكَ عَلَى هَؤُلَاءِ شَهِيدًا How it will be when we bring a witness from every nation and bring you a witness as a witness against them all. Prophet ﷺ when he heard this verse, he said to Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, قِفْ Stop. When Abdullah ibn Mas'ud raised his head, he saw the Prophet ﷺ weeping. Not only the Prophet ﷺ, but even the companions عنهم, When they used to listen to the Holy Quran, they used to weep, my dear brothers and sisters. One occasion, when a verse was revealed to our Prophet ﷺ, he was amongst his companions. And this verse was, أَفَمِنْ هَذَا الْحَدِيثِ تَعْجَبُونَ وَتَدْحَكُونَ وَلَا تَبْكُونَ are you astonished at this moment and do you laugh and not cry? When they heard this verse, all the companions started to weep. And when the Prophet ﷺ, he saw all the companions crying, he cried with them. My dear brothers and sisters, when was the last time you listening to the Holy Quran or you reading the Holy Quran wept out of fear? When was the last time you read the Holy Quran? Are you amongst those people that recite the Holy Quran only during the holy month of Ramadan? Are you amongst those people that recite the Holy Quran without understanding and even, uh, uh, you know, reflecting and pondering what, what Allah is saying to us? Or are you amongst those people when you recite the Holy Quran? You understand and you feel every single verse that Allah is addressing to all of us. May Allah make, make us of those that we weep every time when we recite the Holy Quran out of fear and out of respect and out of love and out of Iman for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number two, my dear brothers and sisters, Prophet Ali salatu salam used to cry when he used to pray night prayer. SubhanAllah. One night, as his wife Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha narrates, he said to Aisha, O oh Aisha, leave me to worship my Lord. What did Aisha say to him? 
I love whatever makes you happy, Ya Rasulullah. His family used to address him not by his name, not by a husband, but by a Rasul Allah, the Prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, out of respect for him. Prophet performed wudu, and Aisha is narrating and, and, and she's saying, then he started weeping and he continued until his lap was wet with tears. When was the last time you or me prayed night prayer, my dear brothers and sisters? The third moment that made our Prophet cry was when his son Ibrahim عنه, passed away. Do you know that while Prophet was alive, he buried six of his children? Amongst those was even his son Ibrahim عنه, to the point that Prophet started to weep and cry. Abdul Rahman ibn Auf said, Ya Rasulullah, even you. And he said, Oh Abdul Rahman ibn Auf, these are tears of mercy. And then he said that golden statement. He said, Indeed, the eyes shed tears, and the heart is full of sadness, but we saw only that which pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, my dear brothers and sisters, for those cultures out there that think that men shouldn't cry, follow the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. You or me can never be better than our Prophet ﷺ. He cried when his children passed away. So may Allah not test any of us with our children. But if, if this happens to any of us, and, and if you weep and cry, there's nothing wrong with that. Because that happened to our Prophet ﷺ, and that shows his, his, his uh, human nature. And there's perfectly normal to do that. <coughs> the other time, the moment that made him cry is for his ummah, for you and me and, 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 and me and everyone that consider themselves to be the ummah of the Prophet. ﷺ. One day our Prophet ﷺ was amongst his companions and he recited the verse that Ibrahim ﷺ said about his people. فَمَنْ تَبِعَنِي فَإِنَّهُ مِنِّي وَمَنْ عَصَانِي فَإِنَّكَ غَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ So whoever follows me, then he is of me. And whoever disobeys me, then you are of, uh, ever forgiving, most merciful. And, and Prophet Ali والسلام, recited what Isa Ali والسلام, said about his people. In hakim. If you punish them, then they are they are your servants. And if you forgive them, you are the mighty and wise. What happened next? Our Prophet Ali والسلام, raised his hands and he said, Ummati, Ummati, and he started crying. To the point that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Jibreel alayhi salam to see and to ask, Mother Yubkika, Ya Rasulullah, what made you cry, O Prophet of Allah? And then Jibreel alayhi salatu salam went and told Allah what made our Prophet Ali والسلام, cry. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered Jibreel to go and send salam to our Prophet والسلام, and to say to him, Go and tell Muhammad والسلام, that we will surely please him with his people and not hurt him. Prophet والسلام, did not say, my, my, my family did not say, my, my wives, my children. Prophet والسلام, said, My ummati, ummati, my ummah. Every one of us, my dear brothers and sisters, even though he never met us, this is a true leader. Those leaders that care about their people, even if they, they have never met them. This is our Prophet ﷺ. Where are those Muslim leaders that then they don't care about the, the, their own nations and their own people? 
Have they ever read the biography of the Prophet ﷺ? Why do you think our Prophet ﷺ was successful? It's because of these things, my dear brothers and sisters. And this is not all. You know that every Prophet had one wish, one dua that Allah would grant them while they're all alive. Our Prophet ﷺ told us and he said, every Prophet has an answered prayer that he makes during his life. But as for me, I have saved mine until I intercede on behalf of my Ummah on the Day of Judgment. This is a prophet that cared about us. He could have made that, that dua for himself, his family, anyone that he loved. But that shows the love of the Prophet for us, my dear brothers and sisters. Don't you think that our love for a Prophet should increase and make us follow his Sunnah even more? So he will be among those people that he will intercede between us and Allah on the Day of Judgment. Wallahi, for those leaders out there, it is important, my dear brothers and sisters, that we have so many uh, 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 you know, oppressors out there, so many Muslim leaders that don't care about their own nations. But this is not from the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. Those people, they only care about themselves. You know, those people, they, they jail their own scholars and their own scientists. But our Prophet ﷺ told us in this hadith, and for all those leaders out there, even if you're a leader of a small group, you will be included. Our Prophet ﷺ said, even if you're the head of the family, so you are the, the, the husband and a father in a family, be aware how you treat your family members. Our Prophet ﷺ said, Oh Allah, whoever is in a, in a position in my ummah and is harsh to them, be harsh to him and if he is merciful to them show him mercy so in one way we're all leaders my dear brothers and sisters so be aware how you treat those people who are under you prophet ali salatu salam he cried also when some of his companions passed away in a battle of mu'tab prophet ali salatu salam even though this battle was happening hundreds of, of miles away from Medina, Prophet was in front of his companions telling them exactly what is happening in that battle. And you know when, when those shuhada, when those um, companions passed away, Zayd and, um, and Ja'far and the rest, as Prophet was telling his companions in Medina, he was weeping. This shows the true leadership when people care. What do we care and for who we cry these days? We don't cry when scholars pass away. We don't cry when good people pass away. We only cry when singers and actors and those people pass away, subhanAllah. This is what, what, what is happening to, to the Ummah of the Prophet That's why we are where we are, my dear brothers and sisters. One of the moments when Prophet passed away is when he visited his mother's grave. You know, he was amongst his companions with an army of 1,000 soldiers. And Prophet ﷺ, he went, he disappeared for a bit and that they found him that he's standing, uh, you know, beside a grave. And he was weeping and weeping. And he, they said, Ya Rasulullah, what is causing you to cry? He said, this is my mother's grave. And I have asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow, to allow me to ask forgiveness for her. And he refused. So I asked him to allow me to visit her grave and he allowed me. So I'm crying out of mercy for her from the hellfire. Some companions said we never, we have never seen the Prophet cry like that. SubhanAllah. He also cried when he saw one of his companions, Musab ibn Umair. You know Musab ibn Umair, he was one of the richest uh, people of Mecca. He gave everything away for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When Prophet ﷺ saw him coming, 
He was dirty. He was wearing some, some very dirty clothes. He was so poor. Subhanallah. The Prophet started weeping because he remembered how this guy was, how rich he was. And he sacrificed everything for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Prophet said, What do you think of the day when one of you will wake up and wear a garment? Then in the evening, change into another gar garment. So being from one state to another state. One state in the morning being rich, another state in the evening being poor. Then in his hand will be put a plate of food and another lifted. And you will put curtains of your houses like the curtains of Kaaba. They said, Ya Rasulullah, this is good for us, what you're saying. Because we'll have more time to, to, to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, no, you're better off today than you will be then. What does that mean? It is better for you to be poor and to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than to be rich and to forget Him. My dear brothers and sisters, the only way we will be successful as an ummah, the only way we'll be successful as parents, the only way we'll be successful as Muslims is if we follow the sunnah of our Prophet I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us of those that we follow his sunnah in every step of our lives, Ya Rabbil Alameen. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us amongst those people that our Prophet will intercede between us and Allah on the day of judgment, Ya Rabbil Alameen. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us of those that we love Allah and his Prophet more than anything else, Ya Rabbil Alameen. My dear brothers and sisters, until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Mm -hmm.